Hello again, this is Colm Gibney. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Yes, have a look at this one. I'm not going to give it a thousand words. I don't have time to give it a thousand words, but I want you to have a good look at this. This is a photograph I took of sunrise over Dunleary Harbour early one morning. Yes. And... I didn't actually realize it at the time, but I certainly know it now that this is the Isle of Man. Exactly where it should be. Exactly where I would expect to see it on a flat plane. I'll have a look at the view of the Isle of Man from here. Now this is exactly, I was even amazed at this, from the balcony I took it from. Everything, the line of sight, this is the line of sight to Snaefell. Oh, it's a long way. Snaefell is a lot of people know by now, is 621 meters high. The distance involved here is 95.9 miles from the balcony to the peak of Snaefell. What does that mean? Well, here's the metabank data for it. Drop 1.6 miles. Hidden. Almost a mile. Now, with their standard refraction added into the equation, the refracted drop is just shy of a mile and the hidden works out to be 1190 meters compared to Snaefell's 621 meters hidden You do know what that means. You know what the photograph should look like. The Isle of Man should be completely invisible. Completely below the horizon. With refraction. Should be down here on the other side. Around the globe around that curve it should be the, the the peak should be down it's just it's just not possible so there is line of sight to the isle of man at 95 miles from dunleary that's across a very large flat area. It is not curving away. Thank you.